So if you look back in history, sun was seen as a divine power in many cultures. In ancient Egypt, in Greece, in Arabia, the sun was seen as being divine. It was being healing. So what, how do we go from being a kind of divine healing power, the source of all life, to being classified as a class one carcinogen by who? So UV light is classified as a known cancer-causing chemical. This is insane. So we moved our sunlight indoors, but we left out the two most important components, UV and IR. And the reason we left them out is because engineers are about efficiency, not about health. We talked off air about the rollout of 5G and um, the addiction of virtual and, and um, virtual reality, where we're putting goggles on our face, <laughs> which is full of blue light, and also RF signals because that's how we're getting the that's how we're getting the feedback. We're increasing the power density. We're putting more and more antennas and, and receptors out. Um, someone told me like every third street light, you need to have some of these uh, devices installed, these little antennas and um, broadcasters installed. So we're getting massive increase in power density and we're getting much more physical locations spreading out across the nation. And I think you guys... Right lead the world as a Boston and Seattle, they decided to trial it out first. Um, my concern is that I think our biological bodies are at a tipping point. And when they roll this out and saturate the country, we're going to see a proliferation of disease. Now, humans are pretty strong and everyone's got different ability to handle different toxins and we might last a little bit longer. But you saw from the, the stats we mentioned earlier, this is an exponential problem. This is not a linear. This is not a gradual. This is an explosion. I remember Tom Wheeler, the um, head of the FCC's presentation, I think you posted on the Solera report. When I watched that, I saw a five-star general saying, we're happy to accept collateral damage. And that collateral damage is our human health. The energy from that was incredible. We're not stopping. We're not waiting. We're not testing. We're rolling this out no matter what. I was horrified. I just went, oh, my goodness, this this is incredible. And they're going to get it out and they're going to use it, not just for its communication, but for surveillance, for control. I don't know if you want to segue into um, the kind of really dark stuff. Uh well, let's talk about solutions because that gets us into the dark stuff. Because EMF uh, radiation is invisible, it's hard for people to realize this is very real and very serious. You know, if a truck is coming at you at 60 miles and it's going to run over you, you know, you can see it, you can understand it. This is invisible. This is going to be the number one risk issue or environmental pollution issue because uh, the the impact is so devastating. I think we need to see it, and that's really what you're helping us do. 